Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here at Mad About Skin, we're passionate about helping you to get the most out of your skincare. So if you haven't already, now's a fantastic time to click that link below, subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell, and you won't miss out on any of our amazing future content now. In today's video, we're gonna be doing another single product review. In this series, we take one product, usually available at the drugstore, at drugstore prices, and we tear it apart. We look at the pros, we look at the cons, we look at whether this has a place in your skincare routine. And today is the turn of this little product, the EUK 134 Antioxidant by The Ordinary. Now, if you've watched this channel before, and you've been one of our loyal subscribers for a while, you might think, hang about, haven't we already seen a review of this? Well, yes, I included it as part of my um, The Ordinary Antioxidants um, video where I explored all of the different antioxidants within the ordinary range. However, I didn't go into a lot of detail in that video specifically on this product. And on the back of that, loads of you guys came at me with all the questions that you had about this product specifically. It is the best selling antioxidant that The Ordinary have, so I'm not surprised that it's generated those comments. But I thought, right, we'll do a dedicated video. I'll talk to you about my experiences with the product. I'm not gonna do one of those sort of like one week try on, one month try on because I've actually been using this on and off for the past four years. So we've got a really good basis of things to talk about and um, based on my experiences, so I'll share that with you. And we'll just go through the pros and cons and work out whether this is a good product to have in your skincare arsenal. Right, so straight off the bat, the EUK 134 is a powerful antioxidant. Now, antioxidants come in various different kinds. You can get Q10, you can get vitamin C. EUK is um, 134 is a very specific type with a hugely ridiculously long chemical name, which I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce on here. I think EUK 134 is enough of an abbreviation, so we all know what we're talking about. But it's a quite an interesting antioxidant because unlike some other antioxidants, which once they grab hold of it, well, let's strip it right back. What is an antioxidant? Our bodies are exposed day in, day out to oxidative stresses. That could be from UV rays, it could be from pollutants, it could be from changes in temperature. A whole host of things can um, impact, the create free radicals which then impact our skin and our cellular structure. They can break down collagen and elastin, which are the things which give our skin that snapback and that vibrancy, plumpness that we crave, and ultimately will age us. So an antioxidant is a fantastic addition to your skincare routine on top of your SPF. Your SPF will provide the sun protection you need and the antioxidant will provide all of that, just absorb all of those free radicals before they can do any damage in your skin. Your traditional free radical um, blocker, so your traditional antioxidant, once it's blocked a free radical or absorbed it, it's done. It's done its work, it's moved on, and it can't do any more. The EUK134 is really quite unique because it's able to regenerate itself. So it can attack that free radical. This specific antioxidant hunts out and scavenges hydrogen peroxide. and um, It also can take reactive oxygen and turn it back into oxygen and water, which are both things which are beneficial for the skin, which is fantastic. But after it's done that, it's able to regenerate itself and continue to work. So you apply this in the morning and you know you've got antioxidant protection throughout the day. Whereas with some of the other antioxidants, which might be also fantastic, and I love different antioxidants and check out that video which I will link up there and um, if you want to explore some other antioxidants that are available but once they've done their work they've done their work off they go never to be seen again and you have to reapply for the following day to then get that boost of antioxidant there this one until you wash it off is going to keep doing the work which I absolutely love so in terms of a little bit more about the product itself, so in the UK, it comes in one size, which is a 30 mil bottle. And in the UK, it's seven pounds. The US, it's $11. So that's a really good price point. You can get some really expensive antioxidant serums. They usually call themselves um, Urban Shields or Blue Light Defense, or they have some gimmicky name to really justify the high price point. But ultimately, they're all just antioxidant serums. I don't think you should be paying more than $20 for an antioxidant. There are some fantastic ones out, both in the ordinary, but the Inculus do some. You get some really, really good ones out there that don't cost the earth. So I think the price point is fantastic. It comes in the usual um, ordinary bottle. Um, as you can see, it has got um, the slightly the darker the brown it begins. It's just protecting it from the UV light, which could um, have a reaction on it. it. When you open it up, this one's a little bit on the old side. I have got a new one that I need to try. It comes out as like a dark liquid. It's sort of, um, it's oil free and it is water free. So it's quite a viscous liquid, but it's not too bad. It's easy to apply. You should always put it on in the morning. It's part of your AM skincare routine. The reason I say that is because you want those antioxidants to be working when we're most exposed to free radicals which is during the day when the sun's most intense when you're out and about picking up environmental pollutants particulate matter and things like that so it's definitely something that you need to use in your morning skincare routine now 
This is an antioxidant which does not deal well in acidic conditions. So make sure that you don't allow it to come into direct contact with a exfoliating acid or a vitamin C, something that's very acidic. Because what it does is just denature the product and stops it working, rendering the whole thing pointless. So what I would do on a morning is I do my cleanse. I would then do my exfoliation, which is usually with an acidic product. I would put on my vitamin C if I'm wearing a vitamin C that day. Then I would leave it 30 seconds for everything to sink in, buffer it with my hyaluronic acid or another the serum and then place this on top. That just means that it's not coming into direct contact with um, an acid which is going to then cause it to denature and be a bit pointless. So that's one way around that but you do have to be quite mindful of it not coming into contact with too acidic conditions because you want it to work throughout the day to give you that fantastic protection. It goes on, it glides on really well, it sinks in and, and it sinks in after about 30 seconds so you can layer products on top of it so whatever you want to put on serum wise or moisturizers after you can layer them on but just give it 30 seconds to do it its work and to sink in and then you can apply it beautifully any other products on top of that so from that perspective absolutely fantastic some people say they use it twice a week three times a week an antioxidant needs to be used every single day so this is definitely a daily treatment and something you want to incorporate in your daily skincare routine and um, some products yes you do want to skip days and all this but not with an antioxidant every single day you need that protection whether it's sunny and gorgeous like it is here in the uk today or whether it's in the depths of winter you're still exposed to free radicals so you need it every single day in terms of the results you can expect. Now antioxidants are preventing damage so you're not going to see any outrageously good results from these products. These products that you just have to trust that they're working and down the line you will reap the benefits or your skin will reap the benefits by having higher density of collagen and elastin in the skin and also just less cellular damage. However you're not going to day in day out see much of a difference from using this product but trust me it's worth the investment. I think um it does provide a little bit of hydration to the skin. It doesn't leave any tackiness, but the skin does feel quite hydrated afterwards, which I think is quite nice. Um, and it doesn't leave any film on the skin, which is great because it's not going to block the rest of the skincare which follows from actually penetrating and doing the work and getting into contact with the skin and doing the work. So from that perspective, I think it's fantastic. The only drawback is you do just have to kind of have faith that it's working because you're not going to see those visible results. You know, we all love to put a glycolic acid on and be glowing to the gods 20 minutes later. This isn't going to be one of those products. You're going to have to wait Wait for it to work but trust me it will and if you haven't got an antioxidant in this is a really good option now let's just do a summary of the pros and cons because i always think that's quite a good way of just summing everything up well for me a pro is the price any antioxidant which comes in at under $10 is a win-win-win for me. I think this is absolutely fantastic. And the price point means you're not worried about some of the other products that are quite expensive. You don't see the results because antioxidants, you won't see the results in the short term. And so you kind of stop using them because they're expensive. I'd rather someone invest in a cheaper um, one and use it every single day because that's when you're going to get the benefits. So this is bang on with the price point. The strength is fantastic. So this is a 0.1%, which is seems really low however that is the strongest available uk 134 on the market you won't be able to find this antioxidant in any other product at that concentration so you're getting a powerhouse packed full of antioxidant properties which is absolutely fantastic so the concentration is bang on the formulation is beautiful it's vegan, it's oil free, it's water free, water can, um, antioxidants are inherently unstable so water can impact that so I love the fact it's water free, I love the fact it's oil free because it's suitable for people like me who are a grit slick from the morning till noon so definitely definitely good for people with um, slightly oily or combination skin and vegan for you know quite a number of people are living a plant based lifestyle now so I think it's really good that they've still got options in skincare and this is a fantastic option if you're looking for a vegan antioxidant. In terms of the cons, there really is just one, and that for me is the fact you can't layer it with or put it next to acidic products. Quite a lot of skincare products are acidic, they're supposed to be, our skin is acidic, so a lot of companies now formulating products to be slightly acidic, that way you can, it doesn't impact the acid mantle the same way that some other neutralizing products do but it does make it quite hard to fit in your skincare routine. Providing you buffer it with something that isn't a really harsh acid like a exfoliating acid or a vitamin C, you'll be absolutely fine. Buffer it with some other um, serum in between that isn't quite acidic, but it does take a little bit of work to think about how you're gonna place this in your skincare routine. If you've got any questions about that, leave me a comment below, list your skincare routine and I'll tell you if it's fine or not. So do leave me a comment below with your skincare routine if you're a little bit unsure where this is gonna fit for you. So it takes a little bit of work, but honestly, for that price point and for the accessibility of the product and the strength and oh, it's just amazing. So I'm gonna rate this product nine out of 10. I do like to mix up my um, um, antioxidants a little bit. I like Q10, I love this. I love the Reservatrol by um, The Ordinary, it's another 
fantastic antioxidants so I do mix it up a little bit but I always keep coming back to this and it is because it is a genuine 9 out of 10 product it's cruelty free it's vegan there's no fragrance in here and there's no colorant in here so it's a ding 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 from that it's suitable for people with sensitive skin which is fantastic the one drawback is it's difficult to layer in your skincare routine you've got to work out which step it goes next to other than that it will be a 10 out of 10 product. So this is a fantastic buy. Let me know, have you tried it? Do you try it? Is this your go-to antioxidant? What is your go-to antioxidant? I love that. I'd love to know and I'd love any recommendations that you have. Hopefully, if you like this video, you'll give it a big thumbs up because that really helps the channel and wherever in the world you are. Hope you're staying safe and well and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, bye.